Miami to Oklahoma City and getting ready for a game the next day. The Thunder had to do it after playing Miami. And SJ put it on the floor, goes right to the cup. Smooth finish with the left hand. Thunder forcing a deep possession here. Suggs ran right into his friend, and that is Chet Holmgren in the vicinity. J-Dub, he tried with the rebound. What a good job of getting those long rebounds. And Chet Holmgren put his head down right over the top of Bataze. Bancaro had a chance to win it last night. A similar shot like that on the fadeaway, and that time he's really set picks to get him open. That's just what he, he does, what we saw there. Oh, the hesitation. Bossy finish, SGA wiggling his way inside. Our second leading scorer, as we talked about earlier, Frank Bosner is out. That's going to be a two. Not considered a score by any means. And SGA's been scoring all season long and does so. Yeah, thank you so much, Paris. Not just the last 10 games, but this entire season. And it's just been a kind of brand of basketball that we've been seeing as SGA wants it. Shea off the body going against the grain and then shows the touch. What a move from SGA cut across the lane. Cole Anthony, one of the top scorers off the bench for the Magic. Nice find. That is just a really pretty cut. Has installed one of the better defenses in the NBA over the first half of the season. Misic trying to find an open look on the step back three. And Basa Misic off the bench, able to drill a three. Anthony stops on a dime, pulls up for the shot. That's a pretty one. Cole Anthony's been really quiet offensively. Jig up three on one, gives it up. Wiggins right back to him. And a strip by Anthony. Wiggins able to keep it. The Thunder fortunate to keep it. Nice pass down low. J Dub off the feed from Jen Holmgren in the Thunder. Tonight's OU Health Coach's Corner. And there is Orlando right out of the timeout. It is Queen with the authoritative slam. Terrific finish by Queen. Well, he got up there too. And that's usually what the Thunder do to other teams. And they've been doing this all season long as they set it up perfectly for Chet Holmgren. As he tried to start the break. Attacking Orlando in transition, no good. As he had it blocked. And this is a very good defensive team. The Magic, Cole Anthony, slicing in and floats it up and in. Two ball handles in the, in the game. Point guards and Misich and Giddy. That's an air ball for Kenridge Williams. Saved by Giddy and J Dub's able to stay in the air long enough. Put it in. Plus the Thunder having to adjust to a completely different tenor. Shea kept the pivot foot down and then banked it in. One thirteen second quarter. Shea, another little hesitation, and this time goes with the left hand for the jam. Shea, hip to hip on Suggs, who's been a good on-ball defender. Picked up the dribble, got him up in the air. That's going to be an easy whistle, and it goes off the glass. Now Mancaro in transition, dumps it off. And Suggs, and Suggs elevates at the rim and might have got too much of the rim. You get up there, they can do some damage. Mataze caught that pass, and Carroll with the assist. Played well for Orlando. But battled injuries over the first two years of his career. Stepped back, shot it up over Dort with two seconds to go. Uh, they make that three go in that last possession. So there's that turnover. Boy, Bataze once again just not close enough to Chet, and Chet finally cashes one in from deep. Surveys in transition once again. Abataze off balance and a turnover. And it's going to lead to Bancaro. Got behind everybody, and Bancaro. It's above the rim. Shea gave it right back to Holmgren straight away. That's two in a row from downtown. They're going to call it a long two. 30 for his last 42, 71% over the last three. Just incredible shooting. Van Caro somehow got right in between Dort and Holmgren and still was able to finish between the two of them. He was a great NBA player many, many years. Giddy from the corner, eyes the three, and he's going to get the friendly bounce. He coming off the triple double point. Ben Carroll was way off balance. Shea kept those hands down, and Ben Carroll realized he wasn't going to get the ball to the rim, so he just hammered it right off the window. And Homer is going to hammer that jam down in transition. Go, go, go. 
He's one of those guys got the total package. Shea stops on the dive, pulls up, and sticks to mid-range. He makes it look so easy. Is it the seven subs contested? And a weak side rebound to Josh Giddy. Coming off of a triple-double in the game against Portland. Giddy put his head down three on one. Giddy right to the cup and scores over. Okay, K. Two in a row. Oh, and that intercepted pass right into the hands of SGA. He's such a terrific defender, folks. Just about as lethal as his offense is. And he got Suggs off the ground yet again. Shea from the block puts it up. And in this match here, Thunder had to switch. Henrich on Bancaro. Bancaro spins Wagner, and it's just Bancaro breaking down the Thunder defense. Black wants to drive. Does so on Joe. Little bounce off there. Contested, and Black with 11 points here. Thunder lead of 15 here in this third quarter has been trimmed down to seven. Wagner is going to make it five. Tough arrival, late arrival. Dort, no. Trying to tap it over to Kenridge, does. To cut, Isaiah Joe, and he's got an open rim. This didn't look like it from this angle, or the backboard. Keeps it, spins on Black. Outside Isaiah Joe, he will tee it up and knock it down. Goes cross court. Elmgren got it back. Fights it up right through the traffic of Wagner and puts it in. Three seconds to go. Shea to J Dub. It's good if it goes and it's good. The three point shot from J Dub to finish out the third quarter. That was a big one. Yeah, been a lot of punches thrown here so far. Every now and a little haymaker. J Dub gives it right back to him. Little jab step. J Dub bounces off of Wagner. Tough shot, not a problem. Got it up over the top. I know it's not closing time, but these are big points for the Thunder. Without their leading scorer on the floor, they got they have other options. What a pass to Meeks and setting it up for Isaiah Joe, who was able to elevate at the rim. He just got back to us. For him. <laughs> Always count on him. Oh, what a move inside, slipping right to the rim. Jalen Williams. So Dort is in the game, and here he is defending Bancaro. He's played engineer on the offense as much as he had score, and that time the Thunder allowed Queen to slip in below the block. That's reminiscent of what we've seen from the Thunder, another young, young team. Situations like this, just playing hard. It's been a theme all, the, all season long, and Meetsons with a hard drive there. When that guy's not on the floor, can you be that guy too? Perfect play, sat out of bounds, getting on the back door, Isaiah Joe, once again. And Van Carroll, back the other way, hip to hip with Dort. Holds up just inside the elbow, Van Carroll's gonna make that one. As Isaiah Joe got trapped on that baseline. Thunder have been able to keep the magic at distance just enough here at arm's length as Bencaro comes back. As he's able to connect on that mid-range shot. So Bencaro is one of those guys who can put up points in numbers. Shade, little sidestep. They're going to give him the and one. Yes, some 10 seconds to work with. Yeah, these kind of possessions kind of wear a team out. How about that, man? Come on. Just almost like a slinky. You don't know anything about it. Anthony, boy, he almost fumbled it into a turnover. And Carroll, shot clock under one. Is he going to get fouled? He got fouled, and Jenna Schroeder's going to say it's an end. Giddy, clock. Way to one on one with Van Caro. And the Magic can get a little closer here. Anthony, push shot in the lane, and he's going to get the bounce. Not come easy. Offense, at times, very